So I was just getting back from uh, being asleep. Literally just woke up like five minutes ago. Come back online to a little bit of slime blocks from being AFK at the spawner for a little bit while I was uh, while I was asleep. And I'm coming up and uh, I see that guy. And I also see that Choco sent a message in the uh, How To Minecraft chat saying, Recommend to start recording whenever you log on. He did not specify who exactly this was, so we had no idea. The last message that was sent was something talking about the Salty Lagoon, so we assumed it was the people residing there. Nope. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It seems he has filled our home with a few snow golems. Interesting. Seems they're all gathered up in this little place over here. Hmm. Now see, in my opinion, I thought the prank would have been a little bit more elaborate, but then again, I guess it was more of a subtle one this time around. Oh, don't crush me. <laughs> that could have been very bad. Um, seems to be one of them in here as well. One of them in the casino? Yes. Seems he blocked off some places. Okay, so there's a few of them in the casino. And there is one of them, or a few of them in the stable, rather, and there's also one of them... Over here. Or a couple of them over here, actually. Oh, a few of them over here, actually. Huh. This is a sign I'm sent to. Yeah, I wrote that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, is there any of them down here, I would assume? Yep, yep. Can I leave this out? I wonder if it messed with the redstone. Oh, did it? Ooh. No, I don't think you mess with redstone, do you? How the hell did you get trapped in there, dude? Do you mess with redstone, or does this still work? Hold on, is the sound on? Oh, I have my sound turned off. Do you still work? That is the question. Golding it there, drop in there. Okay, so that still works fine. Alright. Huh. That's interesting. Let's actually see, just for jokes, if I win or not. Am I gonna win two times in a row? Give me the goods! You're my lucky guy. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that's close. Why could you do that to me? Alright, well, uh, it looks like we got a little bit of a prank done by uh, Choco. Now, I'm actually curious for the most part, because he said over here, um, <laughs> while Ali was on, uh, asked him to leave, and Ali, I think, got a little bit of a kick out of it. I'm actually going to grab one of my horses and take a trip down near the Salty Lagoon and see where else he did this. Um, hmm. Where's our speedy horse? You are a speedy horse, right? Oh, what on earth is that? Aw, oh, dude. You can't just... You can't just come in here and replace the podzo with dirt. That is griefing, my friend. I've lost all my respect now. It's okay. <coughs> yeah, I have to um, apologize. My voice is a little bit sore. or uh, Not sore, but uh, kind of groggy. I've been told I sound even older. Uh, <laughs> when I just wake up, and I kind of like that. But, um, yeah, so if my voice sounds a little weird, that would be why. I just woke up and uh, figured now is probably an easy time to record. I still need to render out a how to Minecraft episode for today, actually. This is being recorded on the 22nd, so three days until Christmas. Merry early Christmas! <laughs> but, uh, alright, let's go ahead and see. Oh, oh, calm down, calm down. What's going on over here? I think we passed by Preston's house. I don't think... Actually, let's go over by Preston's. I don't think Choco would have pranked Preston. And just for the assumption that Preston just doesn't really play on here much anymore. Um, I should just go over and steal all of his diamonds. That'd be a good idea, huh? I mean, why would he need them? Just take all of the things. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. He did. Alright, so Preston got a little bit of a prank done. I think he also had a creeper blow up there as well. Probably while Choco's working. <laughs> um, oh, Preston. Why don't you play on here anymore? You pleb. 
Alright, uh, yeah, he did prank Marome Island over there. That's Marome Island, doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I feel like they just came on one day, dicked around, and just left. Yeah, I don't think Mr. Jerome will be returning to the server anytime soon either. Now, Salty Lagoon's where he had a lot of potential to do some really interesting things. Um... Oh, hello. It would be my cell phone going off. Give me just a... Well, I'm not gonna say give me a moment. But, uh, alright. Let's see what happened over here. Yep, my apologies, my apologies. Anything major done to the Salty Lagoon? No. Doesn't look too major. I know Lachlan and Vic were trying to cover the whole thing in ice, but I'm pretty sure that was just a project that they're gonna ditch. Um, hmm. It doesn't look like he did anything much over here. Pretty sure it was just, yeah, pretty sure it was just stuff on the interior and uh, exterior places. This is still my horse. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. I need to go get this guy and bring him back home. They probably saw that there and they're like, what the hell, Pete? Or, I don't even know if they know it's mine, but yeah, I need to bring that sucker back home. I need to get beacons. I need to go and uh, create, what is it, a wither skull farm or whatever? And uh, start farming up those guys, that'll be sick. Definitely one day in the future. Let's go check out Ali's place real quick. Uh, Ali's not on, Choco's the only one that's on right now. Where is Ali's place? I believe his is right... No, 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 no. His was the other direction from spawn. So that would be right over yonder. Pretty sure at this point it's kind of pointless, but uh, we could just go ahead and check out some other stuff. Yeah, Ali's place is right over there. It doesn't look like anything too major. There is a giant Christmas tree made as well. I wonder who built this. Hmm. Oh, Ali's gotten some really good decorations done. Oh, he added this little area too. Oh, and he's got little banners. That looks so quaint, but I love it. Huh. I haven't actually seen this part of Allie's house. Last time I was over here was in a... About a... Two weeks ago? Maybe? Oh, yeah, this was, uh... Oh, it's his actual barn area, yeah. Oh, he's got his own fountain, too. Oh, that's hilarious. I think his fountain's a little bit better than mine, because he had a bit more room to work with there. But uh, I like my fountain. Let's see. Allie A is... What does it say? I can't zoom in. Acropolis. It is Acropolis. Oh, he's got two fountains. Alright, I like that. Yeah, I guess Choker just had a little bit of a go around with him as well. Same with the little lizard guys. I don't think they join the server very often either anymore. Kind of unfortunate, but, uh, eh. I like the group that are actively plays on here. Really charming fellows. Actually, I don't think anything was done over here too much. What about on the wall? Was there anything done over here? No, yeah, not much really. Hmm. That makes sense, I guess. See, even they have the auto-fishing farm. I need to definitely get one of those set up very soon. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So, that was just a little bit of a preface I thought I'd do. Uh, I don't actually... I'm not actually able to record a full episode right now, since I do need to go out and eat, and take care of a couple things around the house, including post a video and do all that kind of shiz. But I did just want to record briefly uh, about the prank and everything. So, uh, Merry Christmas! Happy early holidays, and, uh, well, I guess it is the holidays. Anyway, so, uh... Yeah, I'll catch you guys back in just a short little bit while we go into the main episode. Take care, and I'll uh, see you back with no tired voice. Ciao! I am just... I... I just... I just... So... So Choco's prank where he put in the snowmen all throughout my house. Um, I was talking with Vic, uh, because I saw that this happened, and uh, for those that haven't been watching my series, and maybe this is your first time seeing me, this is where four, about four chests resided, and uh, a couple of bookcases as well, some other stuff. Um, inside these chests were literally every single enchanted book I have on the server to my name. Maybe give or take a couple. But, um... I, uh... Inside the prank, there were snowmen. And apparently snowmen will fight mobs. And Vic and I were talking, and somehow, I, I don't know how, this is literally the only logical reason I could find. A snowman must have fought a creeper in here and blown up while 
some, I like, I don't know. I know for a fact I was not AFK, and a creeper came in and took out all my items, and I lost every single enchanted book that I had. Thankfully, our spare armor right here, the ones we were working on, I, I guess, <laughs> like, I guess this is still here, and I guess it's a good thing, but... We, uh, huh, we lost so much progress, holy crap. So I need to rebuild the enchantment room, because I need to put those back and put some chests back, and just, ugh, it's heartbreaking, holy crap. Uh, if you guys can't tell, I took a little bit of a couple, of a one-day pause in between recording on this, which is why the chests are now a little presents. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. But, uh, anyway, so a little bit of an update of what we have in our inventory here as we get back to work. Uh, and also, I want to show you guys something real quick here. Take a look inside our chest room. Check this out. We're ready. We are ready for episode 50. Yes, a little bit of a spoiler tease. We're going to be working with this on episode 50. I cannot say what it is, but I know for a fact you guys are going to love it. That's going out tomorrow, Christmas Day for myself, uh, as well as some other Christmas spectacular stuff so it's gonna be rather freaking awesome we just need 14 more slime blocks and then we'll have a full double chest so i'm gonna get 14 more slime blocks and then we'll be good to go uh probably gonna be recording this later in the day and post it on the 25th but uh apart from that we have in our inventory some spruce wood and dark oak wood this was stuff that i gathered uh while i was off camera so we have all the materials that we need for that now we have also glowstone here there's 34 glowstone um, another thing that I did in between the recordings was I did, like, a little horse racing thing, which you guys will see on the 30th, my time, so it'll be in six days from now, that's when we're gonna be posting that, uh, but you guys notice that there's these little chests around here with, uh, the glowstone on top of them, and I'll go ahead and show you guys this really quick, ooh, uh, <laughs> get off the donkey, uh, really quick, just wanna show you guys this, um, like, we get back on our horse here, this is our speedy horse, too, uh, I picked this guy up, uh, right before we did the horse racing thing, cheeky cheeky but um yeah so inside here uh we did a little event and there's a lapis around here with uh the glowstone above it so we're actually going to be going around and breaking uh some glowstone off of the little um things that we did and i think there's another one at preston's we'll just get 36 for now so we'll go back to preston's area uh for right now this is actually a speed 13 horse so he's not too fast but he's well he, actually he's incredibly fast but um yeah so that's that also, if my audio sounds a bit different uh, during this cut, it's because I'm actually using uh, DX Story to record my audio only. Uh, for those that don't know, I normally use Audacity and DX Story, so I do like the up, down, left, right. But um, I'm trying this to see if I don't need to use Audacity, just so I don't have to sync my audio and have like three separate audio files and just crap that would make things way over complicated. So uh, hopefully it's good, because if it is, then awesome. If not, then I'm going to cry. But, uh, yeah, there's another little chest right around here, so we're gonna go ahead and steal this glowstone real quick. Honestly, we could just take every single thing of Preston's, to be honest. Like, he doesn't play on here anymore. Just be like, I'm taking all of your things! I'm not gonna do that. But, uh, I think actually in the other cut during this episode, I probably said that too. Whoops, my bad. Um, blaze past that creeper real quick. So, what we're gonna be doing, the first thing- oh, Jesus. Creeper! No, no, creeper! Jeez, there we go. I think his horse has a three block jump too, so he's not too good, but he's a uh, three block jump for a speed 13 horse is still pretty decent. Uh, I just wish his health was a little bit higher, but oh well, we'll find diamond horse armor eventually. I need to go down to the nether one day and just go on like a massive search for another stronghold and then find diamond armor in there, or even just gold armor, because I know in strongholds that's like the key place of finding armor, uh, plus it's pretty much guaranteed. You don't have to go mining for a certain amount of time. But what we're going to be doing now is... Um, Really quickly, we're going to be changing the glowstone into glowstone lamps, and we're going to be figuring out, or redstone lamps rather, and we're going to be figuring out where we want these posted up, because I have a lighting pattern now, I worked on that on my own, um, on a little world that I had, uh, a little single player world that I work on. And I have a pretty good idea of how I want these things to look. How much redstone will this be? Oh, freaking crap, it's a bit more redstone than I needed. Uh, <laughs> um, let's do that, 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 and that, and then make these all into redstone lamps. Perfect. So we have no glowstone on us now. We'll need to go to the nether and get some more glowstone, too. Uh, it can probably be a pretty good episode. Nether experience one of these days. Uh, hopefully we don't die. I need to get my potion game up, too. My potion game's really been lacking. Uh, we have another stack of 64 right here. Uh, 
There we go. And excellent. So I'll we'll go ahead and put these back real quick. Beautiful. All right. So now we got the redstone lamps. So the way I'm going to be doing this is uh, we'll take the dark oak wood and we'll make these into dark oak slabs. Perfect. We won't need this much wood or this many slabs at all. Actually, we're only going to need like 36 of each. But um, the design that I'm doing it is where I'm going to have basically a lighting system. So it's like, let's get our axe out. In fact, I'm thinking this could be an area where we do it too. Uh, this, so spruce wood would be like, or no. Yeah, the spruce wood would be like right there and right here. And then we have the redstone lamp like this. And then we have the dark oak slab like that. So this is basically like how the lighting system will work. Uh, I quite like this to be honest. It's a little bit darker than the surrounding area, but it matches kind of like with the casino and stuff. And uh, really, it, well, actually, no. In terms of wood, it matches pretty evenly, so I quite like that. Um, but I have the um, like a little bit of a rough outline for how the daylight sensor is going to work. Someone actually told me, you can just take the daylight sensor and actually... In fact, I, where did I put the daylight sensor? I think I stuffed it away somewhere here, because it's not in my inventory. Unless I am blind. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. <laughs> I love that video. Um, where was this daylight sensor that I had? Somewhere. Oh, yay, we actually have an enchanted book. Wow, okay, that's a decent one. Uh, where's our daylight sensor? What did I do with that? Oh, I put it in here, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So if you take the daylight sensor and you put it here, and you actually flick it, it'll change it to a night-day sensor. So it'll turn on when nighttime comes around. Uh, we don't necessarily need that since the way I'll be doing it works with inversions. In fact, actually, just let me show you guys real quick um, how this whole thing is going to go down. So basically, um, this will just be like a little rough mock-up of things. Do I have a repeater in here that I could use? I do. Okay, so let me just show you guys real quick uh, how this is going to work. Uh, and then we're going to just... I think this is going to take a couple episodes, uh, maybe one or two, to get the redstone wiring hooked up and stuff. Uh, so basically... Let's go down to right about uh, here. So let's take, for example, that, um, like, right here. Right like that. Say this is the ground right here. And uh, we need to power this. So, like, the ground is right, like, this is the ground. That's the snow, that's the ground. So we need the redstone to actually cover up, you know, so you can't see anything of it. So basically what will happen is we'll have the daylight sensor uh, like underneath the ground somewhere and we'll have redstone hooked up to it right here. Basically, how it'll work is we're going to be putting a redstone torch underneath it like this. So a torch, I believe, is the only thing that can power through a block. Because if this was the lamp, we wouldn't have to worry about it. But we need the power to be powered in here and then up one more. Then if we put another torch here, that'll be turned off so that is on. So, like, right now, it's daytime, and uh, I'll move this out a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit better. So, it's daytime. This is powered on. So, that, in turn, turns that off, which turns that on, which turns that on. If we were to adjust this to night, it would turn this on, turn this off, and then keep that block on. So, for example, when the nighttime came around, uh, we won't be able to demonstrate that here since the nighttime's just arriving. But uh, when the nighttime comes around, this will be flicked on. And this will be turned off, that'll be turned on, and if you notice, you can't see any redstone on the floor, so that's basically how we're going to be doing it. And the nice thing is, too, is we can actually uh, keep extending this here and use another inverter switch. So if we wanted to do this over again, uh, what we would do is we would place down one more of these. So this was turned off again. I believe this is how we did it. Um, well, anyway, I'll get to that uh, when we actually do the whole thing. But yeah, this is the basic mechanic of how it's going to work. Uh, so there is actually like a surefire way of making sure that... Aw, oh, come on. Of making sure that um, redstone can be hidden. Because if redstone wasn't able to be hidden, this would kind of defeat the whole purpose of it. We got to silk touch this, don't we? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. So we'll have to dig a little bit into the ground. And thankfully, it'll only require one daylight sensor, too. Because of all the torches, we won't actually need any uh, repeaters either. So it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, so we got to figure out where exactly we want the lamps. And let's build them first off. So the first thing we're going to do is actually build the locations of where we want the lamps down. So we need a spruce wood, lamp, and dark oak. I do definitely like the lamps being up there. Um, the thing is, we won't be 
I want to do it in sort of like a path pattern. So what if we were to do it like... What if we had one like here? We had lamp right there. We had lamp. We had like a lamp right there. How does this look? Hmm. Oh, that's not stretched out far enough. Let's see. Make sure it's a silk touch. Uh, we're going to need the axe right there. What if we were to do it like right here and then put down... So like you would put... Uh, say, hmm, this might be a little bit tricky, because we'll need, like, grass on the edge here. How does this look? Oh, well, that's not finished. How does that look? Um, I quite like that. It'll be a little bit weird because of the standing here. Let's actually get a little bit of, uh, grass from our chest real quick so we can work with the outer edge here. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the snow just yet. Um, it's gonna be such a shame because after Christmas I have to take the tree and Santa Claus down. Uh, misspelled Santa Claus. That's unfortunate. Alright, because that thing's been around for quite some time. So, uh, Santa Claus, you've been like a staple of our house ever since it got decorated by Rob and Lachlan. That was such a great episode. I loved it. Alright. So I think it... Don't close on me, please. <laughs> oh, thank God. Alright, so if we break this here, and then... Oh, nope, didn't mean to break that one. And then we put like a grass block right there, and then the spruce wood like that. How does that look? I'll dig that out and put the grass right like there. How does this look? Uh, hmm. I may have to extend the whole, uh, ooh. Yeah, I think I might have to do something real quick here. Let's actually, ugh. Because I do like this, and this is the way I want to keep it, but the problem is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We gotta do some terraforming here. Get rid of those slime balls. <laughs> I don't really need any more slime balls. Um, for pretty much my entire time on the server. Alright, so if we just make the base pushed out a bit more like this... How does this look? Now it's a bit wider. I think that looks at... Is this a thunderstorm? Oh, this is a thunderstorm now, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, because the day, the nighttime didn't come soon enough. Oh, yeah, it's the thunderstorm. Huh? I quite like this, though. And then you go up, and the lights are also there. Um, I think we'll actually push this one up one more. Like that. We have a limit of how many of these we can actually put down, too. Uh, thankfully, with the redstone, we'll be able to put down pretty much as much... <laughs> That's how you know I'm not thinking. We'll be able to put down as many of these as we really need to. Uh, which is nice. Uh, we'll even be able to activate in the fountain as well because of the way that I have the red sun signaling hooked up. Uh, it can be done... Oh, I'll just put it down in the same spot. There we go. And then what if we do one right... Yeah, because the grass will need to be right here as well. So then right like that. We can replace this dirt with grass right there. And then one there, one there, and one there. How does this look? That looks good. I like that. And then how far out was this? This was... One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do one right here. And there we go. Uh, and then one like that. We're doing it in like a pathway, because we have our paths here. We're not going to do these like randomly around the place. I just want to do it in sort of like a pattern um, to make it even. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm thinking like maybe a block right... How would this look if we did one right here, and then we did another one right here? This might look good. Does this look good? Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, okay, then the next pattern we can do... This one goes all the way to here. Let's do one... So this is how many blocks off? One, two... Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do one, like, right uh, here... Hmm. How far away is the path? No, we'll do one right like this, and then... How far are these spread apart inside of a distance? It's one, two, three, four. So four blocks on the inside. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and then we can do another one. Actually, this may need to be spread across a little bit more. Let's do one right like this, and then... This will need to be moved in one more here. We can actually narrow down the pathway if we really wanted to. Let's see. How does this look? Uh, I think this needs to be spread out wider, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's actually gets six across. So it can be, like, four in the middle for the walkway, and then six on an actual pattern. So, like, right here, I think it was. Um, so place one, I'm thinking right 
here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is a lightning storm. I knew it. Oh, I freaking love these in Minecraft. One of my favorite things. Uh, how's this look? That looks good. I like that. And then we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can do another one like right here. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then another path will go right there. Hello, zombie. You kind of hurt. I have my knockback sword out, by the way, because I don't have enough levels to repair the other one, and I didn't want it to break. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do one like right. Um, so far, what is this? One, two in the middle, then one, two. Yeah, so right about here. We don't need it to be too even, to be honest with you. That was just kind of one thing I was thinking about. Um, these could actually be a little bit farther back, to be honest with you. Let's what what if we do it right like here? What if we do it right like this? I'm thinking. And then we do one right there, and then we do another one like this. How does this look? Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. And then we can do the one with the pathway working up here, so we can do like a lamp right here. This is wild to guess. Does this look good? Um yeah, I think this looks good. Hello, zombie. Oh, I forgot because I'm breaking a couple torches, so these guys are going to spawn, huh? At least I think I was breaking a couple. I've got one torch in my inventory, so maybe. And then we can do, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe another one right uh, here. How would this look? Because that is still technically in the path. Now that we can get rid of that gravel if it looks a little bit weird. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that looks good. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe move this one over one more. Yeah, I can move this over one. So right on this block here. Like that. How does this look? Yeah, that looks good. And then we can do another one. Uh, oh, it's right next to the grave. Frick. Um, we can move the grave. Oh, no, I don't want to... I don't want... <coughs> My apologies. <coughs> Jesus. I've been talking for quite a while, pretty much since I woke up, so... <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> Excuse my voice, I'm sorry, that is horrible for a commentary. Jesus, my apologies, got something in my throat right there. Oh man, alright, I'm okay. I'm okay, just had a little bit of a slime ball. <laughs> is that gross? That's probably gross, my bad. Uh, so we can do another one, I'm thinking, like, right like this. There we go, and then two out from here, so we can do one like that. We gotta eat a little bit. How does this look? Does that look good? I think this looks good. And then we can do another one right up at the top here. Uh, ooh, I have an idea. I think this might actually look rather good. What if we do one in like the corners right here? Like if we do a redstone lamp like that. Right like there. How does that look? Ooh, I kind of like that to be honest with you. Let's dig this up here and then we can do a block down there. Redstone lamp there and then one on the edge. How does this look? That looks good. I like that. Uh, the only problem is this looks... It's so weird because of the grave there, but I guess we really don't need that. Um, we could put more of these around randomly in the area and not just have it like in the lighting patterns. I think that might look good. Uh, but for right now, let's put one thinking right about here. How does that look? That looks good. Uh, we can do another one... Because this path is freaking huge here. Uh, we can do another one, like, right here. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then we have the pathway walking... Hello, Enderman, somewhere. The pathway walking up to the place. So this is, like, the middle block here. So let's do one, two, three. And then another one right like this. Perfect. And then that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we have another one right here. Uh, does that look good? Yeah, I think that looks good. Might be a little too close uh, to the fountain. In fact, actually, I think we'll move this one more over. Right, like that. Hendermen really need to freaking calm down in the rain, man. Like, they're just getting way too excited to be out in the rain. Okay. Does that look good? Eh, I think that looks good. Okay. And that's even in the middle. That's one, two... No, it's not, is it? It's one, two, three, four... Yeah, this needs to be one out wider, actually, so you need to be right here to make it even. That's pretty close to the farm, actually. Uh, hmm. 
We may want to close it in more, but anyway, let's just keep going with it. Uh, so for right now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can put one, like, maybe one more inward here. Oh, well, this is going to be have some stuff in it, too. So we can do another block, right, like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then another block would be right here. Perfect. How does that look? That looks, again, uneven, because I keep doing that. One, two, three. Uh, this needs to be moved over one more. Small little change. Maybe put the grass there to make it still look even. Does that look good? Yeah, I like that. And then we can do another one. Oh, wiring this is going to be friggin' hellish. I can already tell you that. Uh, we can do another one right here. Like that. And I think that should be good. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's because there was a third block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was like, how do I always keep getting that mixed up? That, that can't be my fault. Uh, what if we do it right here? So this is actually changed. So this is like on the same ground as the other one. What if we do it like right here? I think this was the block. Was this the block? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be right here, I think. Let's go ahead and check and see how this looks. This looks nice. I like this a lot. Um... Yeah, we could have just based it off of the wall here, too. So this is, like, right on the edge of the platter form there. And this is right on the edge, too. They're both on the same height, both on the same floor. Perfect. And then uh, I don't think we need any more than that, to be honest with you. Um, now I think the only thing that we really need to do is kind of, like, make it so none of the dirt's that easily visible. Uh, we can do it like that. And I think aside from that, it looks good. I like this a lot. Maybe we can make the top of it a little darker? That's just my thought, but uh, we can change that another time. Uh, but for right now, I think this is what we're actually going to be doing in terms of digging out the actual area and putting in the lights. Because this looks really good. Uh, it kind of does look like a pattern. Um, the only one that's wonky is kind of that, because that's not really too dead in the center. Uh, hmm... What can we do to change this? Make it look not so strange. Huh. I feel like it would look a bit better if we didn't have to worry about the grave, but to be honest with you, we're just honoring the dead horse. Yeah, I'm thinking this looks good for right now. Uh, and then what I think we'll do right now is... Uh, hmm. We can leave the redstone to the next episode, because you guys know for big, for projects like this, I kind of like to do it in two parts to kind of spice it up and, you know, alternate things. So next episode, we're going to be doing the 50th episode Christmas special. After that, we'll be getting into the actual redstone wiring of this and uh, making it look really, really nice, because uh, this looks cool, I like it, and it'll look even better during nighttime when it's all lit up and we can get rid of a lot of the torches in the ground. So anyway, uh, that's going to go ahead and top it off for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoy this little kind of, you know, uh, how should I say? I guess thinking episode of How To Minecraft, kind of recapping uh, the little pranks that went down, mourning over our lost books. Oh god, I need to do so much more level grinding on that, it's not even funny. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, take care, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Merry Christmas to all, and uh, happy holidays for sure. Uh, this is Christmas Eve that I'm recording this, but Merry Christmas anyway. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's, and all that junk whenever you're watching this. Yeah, take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!